Hey everyone, it's Wednesday the 20th of December, it's just gone 5 o'clock in the afternoon and I've got a load of uh, double O gauge locomotives to look at. Yep, the diecast guy dropped me a message today um, saying he'd got this big job lot of locomotives in and uh, I went and had a look and I've picked a load out. As a little Christmas treat to myself. So we'll have a look, see if they run. Now he was told by the person he picked them up from that they were his fa late father's. His father passed away recently and they'd only ever been displayed. He didn't have a model railway, he just bought the locos to display them, you know, as a bit of a collector. And looking at the condition of these physically, they're in bloody good condition I quite well believe that they are very clean they look like they've barely been handled um, so what I want to do is go through them and we'll see if I got a bargain or not and see if they actually work and Smudge is quite interested as well because he's joining us up here as, um, as well so what I'm going to do first I'm actually going to check that my setup is actually working so there they are. Smudge is blocking half of them, unfortunately. I'm just going to put the, um, the 33 I got the other day from him on here because I know that's a working loco. So I just want to confirm that the uh, it does work. <laughs> I didn't have the front bogey on it properly. There we go. Okay, so we are working fine. Always like to do that just to confirm that the test track is actually working. Because you never know when you unplug things and disconnect things. Right. So you had two of these. I just thought I'd get one. And if you're wondering what I paid, it's 200 quid for the lot. So I can't remember what this one cost. Um, but basically, locos with tenders were 20 quid. That's, I bet that's a tender driven one, because there's a lot of weight in that tender. Um, that little one is just a fiver, it's another 040 that I haven't got. Um, these medium ones, 15 quid. That one was actually free. <laughs> um, I'll show you why in a bit, but that, yeah, that one was a free one. I just want to see if it runs. Um, and this one, because it's got the coach, so it's a, a set, it was 25 quid. I think he might actually charge me 20 for that one. No, he didn't charge me the 25 for it. Now I know that a lot of these, if I went on eBay, to get them, I've been paying a lot more, including all the shipping and whatnot. So, if they run, actually, you know what I should do? I should bring them up to the camera so you can actually have a, a better look at them. I don't know what class this one is. It's just got rail freight distribution on it. And I liked it because I haven't actually got an electric uh, logo. They've got the doodars on there. I can't remember what they call them. I can't remember a lot tonight. I'm starting to uh, get a bit annoyed at myself. But anyway, I didn't have one of these, so I thought I'd get it. But look at it. It looks new. It looks absolutely brand spanking new. I mean, a lot of the ones I've got, because I've bought them second hand on eBay, there's bits missing, bits broken, a little bit battered and worn, you know. And, aged because some of them are quite old now. There you go, it's the one right at the front there that's being a pain. Get on there. There we go. Moment of truth. Is the rail freight gonna work? We've got a light. We did have a light. I think the wheels might need cleaning from storage, but we do have a light. 
Do we have directional light? We have got directional light. I don't know how well that's going to show up on the camera, but we have got directional light. It's not moving though. But if it's never been used on a track, then I can only imagine it's dirty wheels. I can't imagine any of these would have Hornby Hobbies Limited. Well, I've never seen them. Never come across one like that. It's got Hornby Hobbies written on the bottom. So that one I've got to look into, but I bet it just needs a wheel clean. I bet that is just a connection issue. But it lights up. I want to do that again later because I want to know what the front looks like. Okay. We'll try the good old hard-working faithful 040s, shall we? Right. I'll just turn that. Oh, she twitched. Whoa! She works. Yeah, and if I stop or turn the controller off, she stops and won't start again. So, why did I take that off and turn it around to make it go the other way? It doesn't work like that, does it? I bet a lot of these have never been ran in as well if they've not been on the track. So, just as I expected, the 040 actually was oh, brand new, look at it. Southern 63, that's why I got that, because I haven't got any Southern ones. I've got another one there, which I bought because it was a Southern. I wish I'd actually got another couple. Right. So we've got Great Western here, which seems to be my stepdad's favourite. And I have sent him the photos the diecast guy sent me. And of course he's interested in actually buying everything that's left. Well, I thought he would somehow. Okay. Yeah, this is tender driven because these wheels are moving freely. I did it again, I've stuck it on the track and not actually shown you. I'll show you it afterwards. Ooh! <laughs> Yeah. Give the wheels a clean. Oh, okay, she started by herself. <laughs> She's working though. Where's my little microphone glass? I've got a little one in this drawer, or should have a little one in this drawer. I don't know, I seem to have good days and bad days with my eyeballs. No, I can't see it because there's not enough light on it. County of Oxford, this has got written out. Yeah, it's tender driven. There's no motor in that, it's too light. And you can also tell that there's no motor in it because the wheels do that. <laughs> That's a gorgeous little one. Let's do the southern that I got. One of the reasons I bought this one, one, I haven't got any southerns in the collection, and two, it's got the heat deflectors on the front. I haven't got any heat deflectors either. So there's the southern. It's shine. It's been nice and shiny. Is that a 460, that one? I think a lot of them are 460s. I think I could actually, yeah, I can test this without the tender. I'll make life a little bit easier because we don't need to faff about with the tender then. Yeah, life is it right. We're doing well so far. We have one that hasn't ran. This could be a combination of uh, just dirty wheels, I think. That's all it is. And lack of use. Yeah. 
Um, what I want to do as soon as I've got some floor space, because I can't get the middle railway down at the moment because that shelf is just full of stuff. Um, we've got some floor space, I'll set some track up. I'd rather not do it on the carpet. My carpet's not that fluffy anyway, so I don't think it'd be a problem. There's actually a very lack of fluff. Um, yeah, I'll clear some floor space. And uh, set some track up and uh, give these a run in for half an hour in every direction because I guarantee they've not had it. So we've done that one, done that one. Let's have a PR black one. Now I've got one there that I believe has got the wrong tender with it. Uh, so I might have to swap that. Let's show you this one first. It's not a 460. Is that Hornby? I've got a feeling a lot of these are Hornby. I did find one main line there and I was like, nope. I've had nothing but bad experiences with main lines, so I don't, I don't buy them now. <laughs> it's the same problem every time. It's the bloody wheel set and chassis. I know you want to. Let's change direction, see if I can get the coming other way. Ooh. Well, that's got quite a motor on it. Yeah, that's going to need a clean. But, she runs. Tender, I think. We'll have a look at this one, which is Lord of the Isles. Well, actually, I wasn't going to go for this one. I don't really know why I wasn't going to go for it, but I had like a, a fourth look at it. <laughs> and then notice it's only got that large, big drive wheel on it. And I thought, that is an unusual one. I have seen them before, at least seen photos of them and whatnot, but well, that'd be a nice little interesting one. Okay, here we go. Turn the dial. This one might need some attention because I'm not getting a dicky bird, not in that direction. Ignore that one. My track rubber in the box beside you guys. So I just thought if the wheels are dirty, they could be dirtying up the track as well. <sighs> I've got two track rubbers and guess what? I can't find either of them again. worry. I've got these pads but I don't want to use them too much because these are quite abrasive. Right so I'm going to put this one over here with the wear freight so we know that one didn't do anything. The, oh, the other downside is he's not sure if he left it there or what happened but the um, coal thing has gone out of the tender but that's no biggie. I could make something to go in there, there. I might even have some fake ones I can shove on top of it. Right, now this one I don't think is the right tender. It fits, but it don't turn. <laughs> um, and it's got some of that casting rot stuff on it as well from the looks of it. Um, so I might message them. I cast guy later and see if I can go back and swap that one out. This is tender driven as well, so I've got to have it on here to test this. But then again, I only really need to test that, don't I? <laughs> oh no, I don't, because the pickups are on here. Duh. 
I like this one because this has got this is a two two ten zero. And quite a lot of wheels on this one. If I can get it on the track, we'll see if it'll go in a straight line at least. I doubt that's going to go around the corner. Because that is way too close. So, are you going to do anything for us? It moved. The tender does work. freed up it does work or I could just say bugger it and see if I can find a tender for this one online I might be able to find one on eBay but then again I'm just thinking that means the diecast guys obviously got another loco there that hasn't got the right tender um, yeah I'll drop him a message later and have a look at this little one, it's got something sticking out of the side of it, I don't know what it is. It's got whatever that is sticking out of it. Another little one, 060, with a cold tender. That's why I bought it. I like my 060s. I can't tell you the class of these locos or the names of them or anything because I have absolutely no idea, but if anyone knows, feel free to um, drop a comment down below. I am more than willing to learn. I saw a twitch. Come on. This one's quite grumpy. <laughs> Goes backwards better than it does forwards. But now it's gone backwards, will she go forwards? Bring her down here. And go backwards again. I might free a few things. You know, I might free the mechanism up a bit if I do that. I don't like going forwards, does it? Is this tender driven? Yeah, it is. I can see all the gears in there. Yeah, it's tender driven, so. I can see a metal strip connecting the two, so I'm... Oh, and there is a wire. So the pickups are on the front wheel, so I think a good wheel clean. There is no pickups on that tender. They're all plastic wheels. Is this an FX? Who is it? Oh God, it's a main line. <laughs> I wish I'd saw that before I bought it. <laughs> Not be why it's a pain in the backside. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I'll show you this one. I bought this because I haven't got any of this style that work anyway. I've got some of that basically scrap. <laughs> got it in black. And you did have a couple more there. One in black and a couple in green. I'm sure I was actually tempted by, but... Would you look at that? That's working straight off the back. Oh, sorry, mate. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that one. Apart from the noisy note. I can tell some of these have got some age to them, because... Yep. It's a um, X04 mower smell or an X03 mower smell. <laughs> Just trying to see. Hornby. Is actually going to work. Well, 
I'll have to do a bit of uh, googling myself and just double check that before I measure because that's what uh, the diecast guy did. He said he'd been because it all got mixed. He said when he brought it back, so you have no idea what tender went to what loco. So you had to do a lot of googling. <laughs> okay, we've got this one. Got some more LMS black locos because. I've got quite a few red ones, apart from that one. There we go, got 6103. It has got a name written on the front. It's too small though for my eyes. Hang on. Has this one got a name on it or is it just... No. This one is... The Royal Scots Fusilier. And this one I know is an Airfix one and I knew that as soon as I looked at it. The only other Airfix um, LMS logo I've got is the um, 4F Fowler. Yeah, this one's an Airfix. I knew that because it's tender driven and it's got the wire and everything between it. Exactly the same system actually than the mainline one. It's just not mainline. Always the front four wheels that I struggle to get on the track properly. Okay. What do you reckon? Is it going to work? Of course it is, it's Airfix. And you know what, that sounds just as nice as my other Airfix. Thank you. <laughs> Don't do that to me. Might be a dead spot on the track, actually. Right, not two more to try. We've got the one that I was given. And we've got the Mallard. I believe that's what this is. Again, if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. But I've always wanted one of these, and as soon as I saw that in the photos he sent me, I was like, yep, that is a definite one that I want. Um, it's quite hard to see the photos properly because uh, it's quite dark in his garage. Um, it's one of the reasons I did up to sort of go and take a look. awkward to get on the track because there's a lot of wheels. Four, six, two, and then eight on the tender. Okay, three, two, one. Bitch. Absolutely nothing in that direction. There's no shorts coming up on them. I'm not getting the um, telltale side on the controller that there's a short. Oh, I heard life. I think it's dirty wheels. You want to sort of drag it on the track like that, look. It is, it's just dirty wheels. So that one just needs a service then. Helps from the front wheels not keep falling off the bloody track. Let's try it again. It's either dirty wheels or there's a contact issue because when I press down just very lightly on it. Press down on the back, it sort of wants to work. Oh, I've seen an issue as well. Oh no, it's not an issue. 
His wheels weren't turning. So I thought there was an issue. I thought the um, all the connecting rods and everything might have got a bit bent, but no. Come off the rails again. I've got a feeling that one's going to be a bit of a pain. There's weight in that as well. So this is the little one that he gave me because the um, you're not going to see it from the but, uh, roof of the cab is all damaged. It's actually uh, come unstuck altogether. Someone's actually glued it in before, which is what I'm going to do if it works. I'm just going to glue it in. But let's see if it works. You know, I quite like the BR Black locos. I like the red pinstriping. Got a hint of life out of it. <laughs> Wakey. Maybe with a clean this one will come back to life and a bit of a service. Oh, I've got a buffer missing. I swear if you're not careful with these model locos, the buffers just like to fall off. I think I'm just gonna dab some soup glue on there and just glue that back on. I'd love to know how that broke off. Who's it made by? Have the company on it? Is there a fix? And that'll go again. That's air fix. Do you know what this one is? Twelve volt DC, apparently. Not don't see the uh, manufacturer's name on it. Might be stamped somewhere. Wouldn't be. I've just found the logo. Um, the logo. The logo on the logo. <laughs> you can just see it's on the body. And I was literally just about to say sometimes they put them on the bodies and not the base. That one that I know is Airfix. What is this one? I can actually tell from the pickups on this that this is an older one. I believe it's a bit hard to see because the wheels are shadowing it, but. This is an old Hornby as well. Yep, just found a logo. Uh, I didn't look at this one, did I? And a Hornby. So we've got one main line, two Airfix. Oh, that one is an old triang. It might work, or well, it might be the reason it's not working on this track because it's not making connection. I might be better off. Yeah, I might be better off trying it on the other track. So I'll grab the triangle test track, that's why I've got two. <laughs> Give this a little bit of a skim because I can sit in the bag. Because that's so abrasive, I'm not actually um, using any down pressure. Alright, connect up the power. Like so. And I'll put this 
this on the trying track and we'll see if it runs better. A little, I might have to watch the video again. So I could have sworn we got like a little movement out of it. Ooh, ooh, no, I can see why that's not working already. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to see it on camera, but that is just caked in muck down there. So, yeah, that needs to come apart and have a very good service. Most of them did work. I've got two there that are totally dead at the moment. But most have worked. Most need a bit of a service. Some, like that one, just worked right off the bat. That one needs a service. We've got a little sort of squeak out of it. That was decided it didn't want to play. See what I can do with that one. So I think in the next video, which I will do over the Christmas holes, I will uh, do a video where I'm taking these apart. We'll give them a service and see if we can get them to work smoothly. happy with that. I think that's a good purchase. I think that's the other reason the diecast guy lets these go a lot cheaper than what he could get on eBay because he can't guarantee he's got no means to actually test them like I have. Um, just realize there's no couple on the front of that main line either. I don't really know if I want to mess about with that main line. I've got another main line over here in bits and that's where it's sat for months. <laughs> I really do not like them. The mechanisms are just dreadful on these. Although to be honest this is a totally different mechanism to the ones that I know of that fail. So that might not be I don't know what this is sticking out of here. Just a grey random piece of plastic. It'd be funny if it worked now, wouldn't it? I think my stepdad would be more interested in the um, Great Western. He likes running Great Western round on his. I think he might have some LMS and some BR Black. I can't remember. No, he's got some black locomotives on there. I just can't remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. The southern one's got a um, nameplate on the side of it. I didn't realise that. Sir Dimadan? Or Dinadan? Dinadan. It's an N, not an M. Duh. Yeah, Sir Dinadan. Dynadan, I don't know how it's pronounced. Whoop. Magnifying glass is alive, apparently. Yeah. Wonky sticker there. I don't know if that's put on by the owner or if that's put on by the factory. Do you like how all the uh, brass pipe work is all detailed in on it? Google that. Why don't you just Google that number on the side? It should show me some images on Google Images. Oh, and I forgot as well. He um, chucked these in for nothing. Got the 
old guards vans. Three more trucks here. Great Mountain, Arnold Sands, and another one from Great Mountain. Who make these ones? Because these have got the smaller. Yeah, back. I should have known that from the cap. Um, the couplers. The couplers. And back and couplers. They do work with Hornby, but not very well. I'm pretty certain my worktop is not level. You know, look at this. Watch this, look. <laughs> hmm. I don't think my worktop is level. It doesn't match what's car do it. No, the match what's car doesn't do it. What does the brake van? So how come... How come do these back when ones really just roll that well? Because that's a Hornby truck and that's not doing it either. But that's a Hornby, isn't it? Yep. Coupling hook has busted off of this one, but it can be fixed. Can drill a little rivet thing out. You can probably stick a little screw or something and glue it on. Wow. Runaway truck. Look about that one? Well, that one's doing it even better. Come back. Awesome sauce. Well, I'm going to end the video here because I've actually got another one to film after this one. I've got one for the liver channel to do. I don't know if I want to break for dinner or not. I'm already that hungry. I forgot I had a drink. Might be why I was feeling thirsty. Alright, so. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one where I'll uh, go through these and clean the wheels up and perhaps oil up the motors and whatnot. And See if we can get them running better. I'll probably do that here in the kitchen as well because I've got space. I have had one massive clear up in this kitchen today. And a sort out in the cupboards as well. I've got rid of a load of crap. Anyway, um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down. And of course, if you did like the video and you want to see more videos like this in the future, then uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button. It's free, doesn't cost you a penny. Um, it just helps you follow me or any other YouTuber you choose to follow. Um, and keep up to date with their videos. Especially if you uh, hit the notification bell. Which um, means YouTube should, in theory, notify you every time a video is uploaded. I say should, because it, it doesn't always for me with the YouTubers I follow. Anyway, um, also if you check out the video description down below the video, um, I'll have links in there to my other two YouTube channels. I've got Lego Channel, which I'm now reviving. Um, and I've got the Gaming Channel, which I'm about to upload a video to. And I've got a Discord server, which is a great chat server. Um, mobile phone friendly, all of that. Free to download as well. And to use. Yeah, so... Um, oh, and the, other, the last thing is Twitch. I've got a Twitch channel, because I would like to do... Um, uh, when I'm not stuttering on my words. I would like to uh, do some streaming in the new year. A lot more of it. So yeah, 
feel free to check all of those out in the description and I will see you in the next video. Bye!